Yeah. Another phone, a different wireless plan. I mean, like, it's unbelievable, Richie. Yeah. Yeah, that's not. See how it sounds. There it is. It's working. No? See, we're back. We're back, ladies and gentlemen. Here we are. Part two of the epilogue, we call this. The epilogue of Lounge Academy. A Quinn Martin production. This is see Barry's back with us. Sorry about that, folks at home. I, uh, in the excitement of all the show business celebrities here, I forgot to plug the external battery into my phone that we were broadcasting with. So naturally, eventually the battery went dead. So I just put another phone up there. Plus I get to try out this other gizmo. This this one is, the phone is not actually doing the transmitting. It's, it's going through my portable hotspot, Richie. I got it. This one's through Verizon. And it's throttled. So, so we'll see how it works. Yeah, it is. It is, it is totally crazy. You see, like the last couple of days, all these like businessmen have been like racing each other into space and all kinds of stuff. I mean, it's what, what the hell? Time, we're, when we worked at Suburban Lanes, we didn't expect this kind of stuff to happen, you know? Oh, yeah. Yeah, those, the ones like from the 30s. Yeah, they just come down and land. <laughs> yeah, Buck Rogers. It does, yeah, it does land it like Buck Rogers. I, could, I wonder if we could see a string if we look closely. Shout out to Marty Vinias. I'm going to give him a wave. And Barry. This is the epilogue of Lounge Academy. Mary Kate O'Connell and company. They think we ended and they got up and left. Now I, now I can be reckless. You gotta be careful when the greats are in the audience, okay? You know? Is it an earthquake or simply a shock? Is it the good turtle soup or merely the mock? Is it the cocktail? This feeling of joy is what I feel, the real McCoy. Is it for all time or simply a lie? Is it for not I see or only as Barry Park? We know who made that song popular. 
Jackie Giacomo it was on one of his albums. We play our audience to death here at Moon Academy until, until everybody's carried out on a stretcher, until everybody's left for their fish fries, until every fish is floating upside down in the fish pond, in, in a state of bliss, of course. Well, thank you, Dr. Barone. This is my backup system, so I'm glad to hear that. Ooh, yeah. well, thank you so much. setup but it's not it's not worth the risk it's not worth it could be the best thing you got if ever and you think they didn't hear it don't risk it you know because well I mean even just in, like on a bus you know because if they heard it and it, it and then you, you repeat it and it's still you know that's that's really bad that's really you, it, it just that's like just hurts hurts so much. Thrown under the bus. Yeah, that's a very popular expression now. Everyone's throwing everyone under the bus. I don't know where that came from. I'm biding my time Cause that's the kind of guy I Well, the 
folks grow dizzy I'm keeping busy but my that's like in between. What's that? It, it turned into a, yeah, I'm going to do an autopsy on it. It turned into a resistor. I could probably pick up KB with it. It's like it turned into a germanium diode. I, yeah, I, you know, for a hundred years, and then I need one, and they, they're all. I watch them. I watch the trucks carrying the stuff away. I've got some coming from eBay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The fish loves the big new. He's their favorite. Those fish good. She's 
well, yeah. We used to raise hell, yeah. Who that get? Just in case, just in case she's out there watching, the gift. I'm going to stay here till they lock me in.
Businessman's uh, bowling night. Oh yeah. This is my favorite part of the evening, ladies and gentlemen. When everybody's gone. And I'm just playing for the fish and for Z Bay. I drove them all out of the place. I'm like an exterminator. And you know what I did is I, I ordered, I found three on eBay that are you know, slow ball, which is what I understand I want for the mains. And um, they're the right size. And they're also, um, they're vintage in old stock. Yeah, the time you can take apart and put that together, it comes with the extra pieces on the inside. So I got like 10 replacements. So I'm going to replace all three because the one went. I mean, these things look like they're from the Frankenstein movie. That's, that's the ones that we have downstairs. You still have them up in the. Yeah. To teach them all apart. Yeah, it, it looked like they belonged here. They might have been older. This place, my place was built first. Yeah, they look they look like giant like, like Thomas Edison has something to do with that. Oh no, some of the ones I have are about that big. Oh yeah, I was wondering if you'd even have any use for any of this small. These yeah. were only 150 yards. Yeah. They wiped out all the old style. That's all They're pretty stuff. scary to get near them. I'm saying they had a whole roll of them. Did they, did they did they take out all that Frankenstein equipment? Yep. Oh, I'm glad I took a picture of you with it. I took one of the handles. The airliner? Huh? Is it the airliner? Uh, the one that was built by Western House? There was one that had a sign on it that said airliner theater. Oh, no, no, no. This one was one of those handles that were downstairs. We took them all on. Yeah, cool. The Western House on Use it as a doorbell. It's a door knocker. Be like, be like the Adams family. See, they probably have, they probably had a thousand of those downstairs. It's a great Z big a big new. He knows every square inch. He knows. He knows places in this building that mice don't know about. Amazing. He dances overhead on my ceiling near my bed. In my sight.
whisper, go away, my lover. It's not fair, but I'm so grateful to discover she's still there. Yeah, amazing. Yeah. Yeah, good point. No. Rogers and Harris. equivalent of the new normal. Shoot some at me. Let's see if we got them.
I've got a crush My baby Must be nine o'clock. <laughs> like, feels like three in the morning. <laughs> this place looks really nice. I went walking back there. It's very pretty. Walking around the elevators. Yeah, those elevators. Yeah, what a place. Back when it was a dentist's office. Oh, that's great, MDHN. First dance at your wedding reception. So great thing about these, about these songs. They have so many memories. Here's one. Mark David knows. He knows songs. He'll know this one.
easy chair It never entered my mind Once you told me I was mistaken That I'd awake With the sun What a mood yes. that creates. <laughs> Rogers and Hart. Oh, I see. MDHN. Yeah, it's really great how there was that period of time when all the rock stars were taking turns doing albums of the old chestnuts. And it was really really interesting to hear them hear what they do. How can they can adapt their voices? How they can swing. We're turning the room. The bus is going to pull up soon. The bus load of Canadian refugees waiting to shop at the Galleria with pent up demand. We're going to get slammed. Dalmatian with a tennis ball. <laughs> He's getting another beer. All right. Oh, okay. to say, geez. Well, Mary, we had a good, fun evening, huh? What a showbiz crowd we had tonight. McConnell and company brought. Those guys looked like actors. They looked like I could I could spot showbiz. They were definitely. There's, I think, I think they were show people for sure. No doubt. I mean, I'm 100 percent sure. And I could tell by how much they appreciated the songs too. There's no pressure, you know, when 
McConnell and company comes in. Yeah. And you gotta launch into the night cold. It's like, oh my god. Oh, she looks great. Yeah. Everybody looks good post pandemic. Tonight on the menu, Mark David, Heimbeck Nielsen. 
tonight was, was exciting because I found out there's another menu I didn't know about. It's a menu of stuff that you can really like pig out on. Like burgers and stuff. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, any final requests? Any last requests? I don't know if I got it though. What is it? What's this? Oh, you're looking at me. You're looking at me. You're looking at me. I don't know if I I don't know if I'm equipped. I know. Yeah, I know. Well, yeah, the odds of me having that here, and I don't happen to know. I This one goes out to Selena L. Great to have you with us, my my spiel showbiz partner. It's Selena, Mary. How exciting! Cocktails for two. You know, I think. All right. You know, I was gonna say I don't have it, but I actually do. It's in my. Book. It's Selena. It's in my book that says learn. See? It says learn. <laughs> the reason it says learn is because. But uh, I could give it a whirl. Which one was it again? Cocktails for two? 
That was it, right, Selena? I can't see now this. Oh, cocktails for two, right? Also, another excuse is the type is real smart. Welcome. Welcome, ladies. They're waiting for you. The bartenders are waiting. something to do with that. Okay, I'm going to learn this one for you right now. What key is it? In some secluded... It's so small. In some secluded rendezvous Dakota. How about a big round of applause? Oh wait, there's nobody here. Okay, well, well good night everybody. Thank you so much um, for, for joining. Thank you, Selena. Mark David Hombeck Nielsen. He knows his songs. You guys can have a great conversation. You two should friend each other, Selena and Mark, because you guys know the old songs. And uh, well, thanks for joining this epilogue, which was actually part two of tonight's live stream. On account, I ran out of the battery and restarted. And we'll see you again next Friday. It'll be just me and Mary and Bernard, and we'll be having a ball. Good night, everybody. Dave and Paul left. His daughter was putting the heat on and she called him. Oh, that's, that, well, that's, of course, that's the way it works. I told him, I told him, I think that's the way that your daughter calls him. Yeah, he had a promise to put his